Bill Rosalie Furler from the Sunshine Coast, Queensland, Australia. Hey, welcome today and welcome to Church on the Beach. We've had blood moons, full moons, and even the moon going down over Malula Bar. And guess what? It's only 4.30 a.m. and we've soon got a beautiful sunrise coming up. I want to say that everything is happening and maybe everything is happening in your life today. And in all of this, God spoke clearly to my heart concerning you today. And this is what he said. I am thinking of you. I remember when he first spoke to me concerning I am thinking of you. I'd been away on a mission for over five weeks, away from Rosalie, away from the family. And going through some very difficult situations in a foreign country. And the Lord woke me up in the middle of the night and said clearly, I am thinking of you. And I want to say today, whatever you are going through, that God is thinking of you. And you're going to enjoy this today as we declare the glory of God to the nations. Another great Psalm of David is Psalm 8. He says, Yahweh, our Lord, how magnificent is your name throughout the earth. You have covered the heavens with your majesty. From the lips of children and infants, you have ordained praise because of your enemies to silence the foe and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what is man that you are mindful of him? Or I could say, what is man that you are thinking about him? And the son of man that you care for him. You could today be like one of the rest of us that when we see this vast creation, we think, hey, does God really care about me? Does he see me when I'm going through my deepest of troubles? Or facing the most fiercest storm of life? Yes, God is thinking about you. Whatever you're going through, God is with you. Yes, Jesus had you on his mind. He was thinking about you when he hung on the cross for you. Remember, Job went through some fierce and fiery trials in his life. And yet he came to that place where he said, Even though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Job says in chapter 7 verse 17, What is man that you make so much of him? You give him so much attention that you examine him every morning and test him every moment. You never look away from me or let me alone even for an instant. And let me say that if you trust God, he won't let you alone. He won't take his mind off you. He'll always be thinking of you. King David goes on to say, for you have made him, that is man, a little lower than the angels. And you have crowned him with glory and honor. You have made him to have dominion over the works of your hands. You put all things under his feet. All sheep and cattle, even the beasts of the field, the birds of the air and the fish of the sea that pass through the paths of the sea. O oh Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth. 
we can just praise God and give him all the glory today, for God is great.